Hello Booktube. Today I'm going to be discussing The Gutter Prayer by Gareth Hanrahan. Um, this is the first book in his Black Iron Legacy series and I really enjoyed it. Um, I want to say I read it like either early this summer or late in spring and it's a phenomenally fun book. Uh, so let me read you a bit at the back. The city of Werdon stands eternal, a refuge from the war that rages beyond its borders. But in the ancient tunnels deep beneath its streets, a malevolent power has begun to stir. The fate of the city rests in the hands of three thieves. They alone stand against the coming darkness. As conspiracies unfold and secrets are revealed, their friendship will be tested to the limit. If they fail, all will be lost, and the streets of Guerdon will run red with blood. Yes, sounds fantastic. Um, so it's basically the story of um, three thieves. Um, Carolon, I'm blanking on his name, which is bad. Let me see here. Oh, Spar. Uh, so it's Carolyn, Spar, and Rat, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Rat is the um, third character. Um, which is, I mean, it's been a while since I've read, yeah, it's right, is the, so Carolyn is in, Spar are humans, and Rat is a ghoul. So, in the city, Guerdon is a fantastic city, it's ruled by alchemy and sorcery, and under the streets, there are people called ghouls who are charged with um, guarding this ancient evil, who are a race of um, shape-shifting, spoiler alert, because I mean, I usually spoil these things, uh, this ancient evil. And in exchange for their continued service of guarding this, these, um, this ancient evil, they're basically fed the corpses of the dead. That basically the main religion in the story are basically their dead are consigned to basically pits where the ghouls can go and basically have a easy larder access. Um, some ghouls, um, Spar in particular, I mean, not Spar, uh, Rat in particular, have affected a more human uh, interest. They're far more comfortable being amongst humans than they are their own kind, and so run as thieves and what have you. Uh, Spar is a young man he's the son of a previous um, king of thieves who um, wanted to revolutionize the city he was a bit of a social revolutionary who was um, executed and spar has become infected with this sort of um, plague that turns people to stone and then Carolyn is a young traveler who has recently come to Weirdon on her journeys. Anyway, and forced into becoming a thief. So, it's, yeah. So they end up becoming involved with um, varying schemes and plots and machinations running throughout the city. Um, and it all eventually culminates in the attempt to recreate a god or to really release um, ancient gods who were the previous gods of the city 
before the current mainline gods uh, moved in. And that's really, really, I mean, I love the book. It's fascinating. So I'm going to put it down now. <laughs> it's like holding it up is kind of tiresome. But anyway, so I really enjoy it. Um, the characters are all very fascinating. Um, Carolyn, Rat, Spar, um, their individual stories are compelling and heartbreaking and it ends with a very, very nice note and the political machinations I think are very fascinating to read. Um, so what are the so one of them is the King of Thief is the Thief Art where Basically, one of the well, the current king of the thieves or leader of the thieves is trying to get rid of Spar because he's a threat to his role. I'm not, being the son of the previous um, head thief or king of thieves, I guess. Um, and so he kind of like they have a conflict and then carolyn who has something weird happen to her she's from a somewhat noble family or she is from a noble family whose um family were all massacred save for an aunt and what happened with that becomes very important and integral to the rest of the plot there's this crazy scholar who has his own agenda it's just it's all very very fun and interesting and also ultimately heartbreaking as these three friends are torn apart at the end of the novel but anyway so definitely if you want to read a really good gritty grim dark fantasy the gutter prayer is definitely I w one I would recommend and sorry I, this isn't is it's been a while since I've read it so I'm not as fresh on it but yeah hopefully yeah y'all yeah <laughs> sorry uh, anyway thank you booktube